Catholic Vote has launched its Catholic Accountability Project ahead of the midterm elections this fall. The campaign seeks to hold Catholic leaders and institutions accountable to foundational moral Catholic teachings. The initiative comes during a time in which many Catholic politicians openly flaunt their opposition to church teachings. Catholic Vote is already running ad campaigns and educational resources to make sure Catholic voters know where their representatives stand. Catholic Vote is working in coordination with faithful church leaders, bishops, and grassroots lay activists. And joining me now is Tommy Valentine, director of the Catholic Accountability Project at Catholic Vote. Tommy, thanks so much for joining me. Tell us about the Catholic Accountability Project. What is its goal? Yeah, well, our goal is to hold Catholic leaders, Catholic institutions accountable um, for how they represent the Catholic faith in the public square. So we're talking about um, politicians is the main part of it, but we're also looking at Catholic universities, Catholic hospitals, that's a big issue that's, sure. that's gonna be relevant very soon. Um, and we wanna make sure that they're representing the Catholic faith and more importantly, not misrepresenting the Catholic faith. So right. we're working on elections and things like that and um, investigative reports and um, there's a lot more to come. Mm, that's really exciting. And you launched this campaign in January of this year. Can you give some insight into how it's been going so far? Yeah, it's been going really well. Um, we hear from our supporters all the time, you know, thank you, I'm so glad somebody's doing this mm -hmm. because it really is demoralizing to the Catholic laity when people who identify as Catholic stand in opposition publicly, very vocally, to everything that we believe is Catholic, so the most fundamental truths in it. Um, and so people are just glad that we're, that we're doing this and we're working very hard and um, putting my history degree a good use, writing <laughs> some right. investigative reports, and that's been good. <laughs> yeah, I was a history major too, so that's yep. probably fun for you, honestly. Exactly. Um, Catholic Vote outlined recently House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's record on abortion in a fantastic investigative report really went into detail. Can you talk to me about the importance of really diving deep into these records? Yeah, you know, Speaker Pelosi is an interesting one because, you know, a lot of Democrats like Tim Kaine, um, John Kerry, they would at least pretend to put up a facade that, you know, I'm Catholic, I'm pro-life in my personal life, but I'm, you know, pro-choice politically, and I don't think the two should, mitch, should, should mix. And obviously that's just, it's so wrong on every level, but at least there's an acknowledgement that there's some sort of conflict. Whereas sure. Nancy Pelosi, she celebrates abortion in the name of her Catholic faith. And so in the report, we went through all the documented instances that we could find, and there are probably many more that we couldn't find, of times when she said, I'm a Catholic, and that's why I support abortion. Mm. She's even called abortion sacred. Mm. Um, she, there's this anecdote that probably happened once decades ago, and she tells it all the time about how she, she mocks people who would say, you know, Nancy Pelosi thinks she knows more about abortion than the Pope does. And she says, well, yes, I do know more, more about abortion than the Pope does. And she just has, it's clear, she's just making a mockery of the faith, which yeah. is really sad. Right, absolutely. And, you know, Joe Biden is another very notable person who does the same thing. And, yeah. you know, it's really important to be calling him out on this. Could you tell us how your organization is educating Catholic voters about the lies that he spreads? Yeah, well, we have something called the Biden Report on our website, and so it's basically a dossier of everything that Biden has said and done as president, even before he was president, um, on issues of importance to Catholics. So life, marriage, religious freedom, um, even some of the economic issues and sure. immigration, that we things that we that we care about as Catholics. And we just want Catholics to know what Joe Biden is is saying in the name of our faith. Um, you know, he's a he's from Scranton, Pennsylvania. I have my roots are from Scranton, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. many generations going back. And um, he used to put himself up as this, you know, Catholic boy from Scranton. He's not anymore. Mm -hmm. um, it's sad. He's, you know, nearing 80 years old and um, and he's still um, in conflict with his faith. So we're just making sure that Catholics are aware that Joe Biden may claim to be, you know, the second Catholic president, but his actions, regardless of what his personal faith is, I don't right. want to speak to his personal faith, yeah. but um, Catholics need to know what he's doing publicly. Mm. Tommy, we have about uh, less than a minute left, but what other politicians should we be keeping an eye on? Yeah, well, we're working on a list of politicians that we're going to be targeting in the elections this year. Got it. Um, a number of Catholic Democrats, unfortunately, there are very few left um, who actually uh, vote pro-life, but we're working to knock them out of office, working to get a number of Catholic politicians into office and um, get people who are really going to represent our faith and speak the truth um, into Congress and other offices around the country. So look forward to that on our website very, very soon. Very excited for it, and your work is so important. Thank you so much. Tommy Valentine of Catholic Vote. Thank you for your